This week on Paddle Tales, we're on the world-renowned whitewater section of the Ottawa River. This section of whitewater draws paddlers from all over the world, but the warm and deep water is also an ideal place for young paddlers to get their feet wet in whitewater for the first time. And so this week, I'm doing a first. I'm paddling the river with my daughter for the first time in our own kayaks. Before we get right into it, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and follow us on Facebook and Instagram because we have lots more Paddle Tales episodes and a bunch of tips and tricks coming your way. Paddle Tales is produced with support from NRS, Aquabound, Ontario Creates, and Bell Fund. The Whitewater region is my home. I wasn't born here, but it's home now. And it's been home since I discovered it as a teenager while getting my first taste of kayaking. The Whitewater region is part of Renfrew County in Ontario's Highlands, but most people know it as the place where you find the rapids of the Ottawa River, which is recognized as one of the top whitewater kayaking destinations in the world. It's one of the big reasons my wife and I settled down here 18 years ago, and so we're pretty excited that our daughter Chelsea seems to have developed the same passion for the river that we have. I've been on the road for the past few weeks, and while I was gone, Turns out I missed Chelsea's first steps and her first words. And not literally, but in a paddling sense. She got her roll and she ran the river in her own kayak for the first time without me. I was kind of torn when I heard that. Part of me was like, oh, I missed it. I can't believe I missed it. I've been waiting nine years for it. And then another part of me was like, sweet. I didn't have to do the hard work. <laughs> now the world has opened up. We can start really considering river trips together. Ava, Alexis, Chelsea, and two of their good girlfriends did a week of kayak school where it was just the five of them, five girls learning to kayak and getting comfortable on the water. So I was really excited today to get out in the water so they could show us what they learned throughout that week. So it was really neat to see just the, you know, a little team of girls out there that are really young, some of the youngest on the river out there paddling on the whitewater here in the Ottawa, which was really neat to see. Are you guys good? hot? Yeah. Time, we'll do a roll before we go then. Why don't we do that? Come on over, Charles. Counter down. Three, two, one. Nice. nice roll. All right. Who's next? Three, two, one. Yeah. Oops, sorry, I'll get out of your way. Three, two, one. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Sweet! You girls ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's go! Today really is my dream trip. I get to paddle the river with my family, Nicole and Chelsea. And we're getting to do it with some of our best friends in the world. Ken and I met on the river, so being able to actually bring our kids down the river that we have such an attachment to is really special. Get Nicole! The fact that we're outnumbering the boys this time as well is really cool. I can't wait to see how they do. Now we'll do another eddy turn up here. Make sure you get right in and on your right edge. Boat on edge. And then take a last big stroke to pull yourself out. And then you hold that draw. It's not back like this. It's like this. There you go. Nice one. Well, let's peel out and head on down. All right, guys. You know the program here, S-turn. 
we're just gonna peel into the current, float, uh, basically just get right in the current, head down until the hole that you guys like, and then what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go into the hole, Chelsea, or you're gonna miss it to the right? Yeah. Okay. The Ottawa River is known for having some of the best park and play spots in the world. And what that means is places that you can literally drive up to and you spend your whole day at one feature, one wave. It's hosted a number of world freestyle kayaking championships because of that. One place that isn't very well known as a park and play spot is the S turn hole because it's small. It's not big and dynamic like the other ones. But the cool thing about the S turn hole is that it's small, safe, it's in such a spectacular wilderness setting. You can literally walk out the rock to the hole. You can, it's great for paddling. It's a great spot to swim in white water. It's an incredible spot to boogie board as well. There's so much you can do in that one spot safely for kids of all ages. Was it? Was it bigger than last time? Yeah, but I found it was easier than going. It was easier than going in the hole through the yeah. big wave trains? It was fun. It's high water right now. Would you have tried your roll if you flipped over? Yeah. No and no. yes? <laughs> no. <laughs> So even though there's tons of places on the Ottawa River to spend some time playing, S-Turn is one of our favorites. You can hang out, have lunch, do some boogie boarding, body surfing, and the feature there is super, super friendly. So even a paddler that's my age and maybe not paddling as often as I'd like, I can go in there and do some tricks that I may not have tried in a while and not have to worry about throwing out a shoulder or injuring myself. So, I had to, of course, take the opportunity to show Chelsea what her mom can do for a change. <laughs> Talk about the ultimate whitewater play spot. I mean, you got this perfect eddy that just feeds people back up to the top to this great lunch spot rock. This was engineered for fun. <laughs> Not a bad way to spend an afternoon uh, in the sun. Froggy, froggy. Oh, frog. When people from outside Canada think of Canada, the words intense heat and warm water don't typically jump to mind. But the Whitewater region, like all of Eastern Ontario, is a very hot and humid place during the summer, and the water of the lakes and rivers is warm and inviting. And so a trip down the Ottawa River can be expected to involve a lot of swim breaks. But this particular pit stop was destined to be short and sweet. Because up next is one of the most popular rapids on the river. The rapid that the girls look forward to the most is Butterfly. And that's because it has this beautiful wave train that provides just an awesome roller coaster ride. And it's short, it's deep, it's safe. They've paddled down uh, each of it maybe twice beforehand. Ava had a 50-50 success ratio going through that, so she swam it last time. She was, you know, her goal in this trip was to get through Butterfly upright. And what a clean little line she had. She paddled on through, she followed Nicole down, she wanted to follow me down. You know, she's a little hesitant to follow Nicole, but at the end of it, she was really happy that she did choose Nicole because I think she had the cleanest line all the way down. That was really good. That was really fun. Yeah? Were you nervous about that one? I was nervous about it, but it was fun. It was funner than Esther. Bigger waves? Yeah. Yeah? Way to go. You nailed that one. You're super clean. You're right down the middle, huh? Yeah. One of the greatest things about Chelsea paddling her own kayak now is that when we get to a good spot, I can take my turn to play. The Ottawa River fluctuates in its water levels 
and at certain levels, really awesome and fun, safe features come out. Butterfly Rapid is an example. At this level, it's the perfect spot to go body surfing. All right, what are we doing, girls? Swimming butterfly. We're gonna body surf butterfly. Yeah. All right, yeah. grab onto me. Body surfing is a really cool feeling. It's a great way to get comfortable in white water to really feel the power of white water. But what's funny when you're body surfing is how you're so low in the water and your perspective is so changed that you don't really see much until you're right at the edge and going over. It's a thrill to body surf. The kids love it. Here we go! The Whitewater region is just a mecca for people to travel in from around the world. It's got big waves, friendly people, warm water, just a great place to spend a summer. Um, and we end ultimately settle down here just because of the access to the outdoors. There's great biking trails, uh, there's a provincial parks right next door. Just access to outdoors and nature is the reason that there's a good little community of people of Whitewater or uh, outdoor focused people that have settled into this area just because of the access to the outdoors that it gives you. It's a mecca for outdoor activities. We feel really fortunate to be living here in this area, that our backyard is a destination where people actually travel from far and wide to actually experience. This section of whitewater is hands down one of the coolest natural playgrounds that you'll find anywhere in the world. And it's, uh, I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Well, I have to say the paddling experience sure has changed over the past few years, and uh, it's been a, a great a change for the better. It's so much fun to see my daughter and Ava and Lexi conquer the river. This is the first, the first time we've been on our own kayaks. We made it, and now a whole new world has opened up to us. It's gonna be good. Awesome day, guys! Woo! <laughs> well, should we swim it out? Yes! As a parent, my hope isn't that Chelsea develops the same passion that I have for paddling. My hope is that Chelsea develops a passion for the outdoors. If that doesn't end up involving kayaking, that's okay. But I'll tell you what, running the river today, as a family, in our own kayaks, feels like a dream come true. And at this moment, there's absolutely nowhere else I'd rather be.